Hello everybody, and welcome back to Freddy Fish 4, the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch. We are on the last episode of the first path today, so all we gotta do is get our belt buckle and then find a way to change our hat to purple. <laughs> and we can get in with the rustlers. Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Ooh. Mr. Big, huh? I wonder who he is. Well, can't be a girl. <laughs> Alrighty, let's stick the wheel back on. We did it. It's fixed. And it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> oh, he's no worse for wear. My package at last. Yay. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Poor guy's just done with society. Thank you. <laughs> He's just like, all right, all I want to be, I just want to be left alone, okay? <laughs> I totally get that, dude. I totally get it. All right, we're actually almost done now. Because <laughs> we can now get a custom-made swanky buckle by, uh... Full Nelson, who I still don't trust. There you go. Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Do we have to like pay for it or is this just something you do because you're passionate about it? <laughs> Here, this is for the belt buckle. He's actually just doing it for the exposure. <laughs> <gasps> Swanky! <laughs> okay, stand back! Are those glasses or goggles? So impressive. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. Nelson Tor Torso, all right. <laughs> wow, no wonder he doesn't charge. <laughs> all I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah, but I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. I didn't know hogfish rustling was like, I didn't know how, like ranching was so much work. Um, yeah, of course it is. 
So you might be wondering, how do we change the hat color? Well, we do have this color of goo here. Is that what I think it is? It's ink. Oh! It's ink. Yeah, not spit. It's just not right. Well, it's purple now. All it took was like a drop of purple saliva and it turned the whole thing purple. Don't know how that works. Not amused. Yeah, I do not want to wear that. Purple is much better. I do not want to wear that. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> Anyhow, we got the stuff. Now we can go into the rustler hideout, even though we're very clearly not rustlers. What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a rustler? Oh! Yes! Huh? This will make me look even more like a rustler. Never mind the fact that I'm only a ten-year-old girl. That won't ha that won't draw raise any red flags to them. That's a great wrestler disguise, Freddy. Thanks, Luther. I hope it fools the guard. <laughs> it's just like somebody is like, in a purple ten-gallon hat, has a bow tie and a belt buckle. It's like you're a wrestler. You're under arrest. Like, no, I, I just like to accessorize, man. <laughs> it's just this is so funny. Luther. You stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? They have a built-in jail cell? Dang. It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. <laughs> oh, well that didn't go to plan though, did it? Of course, I don't know what they were expecting. Even with the disguise, he's just like, you're ten-year-old kids, you're not rustlers. <laughs> Also, both of these guys are very incompetent. Mo Mori Mo Mori's more competent than uh, Toby was his name? I don't even remember. Yeah, but Mori's a little more competent, but even then, he's still just like, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. Mr. Big <laughs> will know what to do about all this stuff. If I'm Mr. Big, they'd be, they'd be nothing. Hey. Is that like a squirrel? No, oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Hey, it looks like there might be oh, no, a way took out our under stuff. all these cannonballs. He even took our purple sea urchins. These are heavy. And not only that, he even took the page out of Russellmania magazine. I wanted that. That's the best magazine. There. That does it. 
Wow, he's really incompetent if he just left this trap door here. Yeah! Love the music, it's so good. Hey, look! Here they are! These are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. I didn't know hogfish chewed bubblegum. One of the rustlers brought a whole bunch of it for us. He thought it was a normal part of our diet. Hmm. That's very interesting. Huh. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. Well, this is very interesting. Oh, dang, it's I like a... I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. It's like a they'll decommissioned a bigger sleeve opening. boat. I didn't read... Oh, my. That's actually kind of dark. Freddy Fish is darker than I remember it. Like, all of them, in some way. Lovely. <laughs> 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 I recognize that sound effect from Puppet Saves the Zoo. Wait! Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Yeah, so if you turn the steering, steering wheel, it'll actually turn the rudder. See, it's like, they, there's some really cool puzzles in this game. Like that one. Really good use of, like, the environment. Look at this neat hook! You look kind of sadistic with that. you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Loofer, you looked kind of evil in, right there. We've got the hook we can attach to this chain. I bet if we attach this hook to the chain, it'll reach those bars. Blam. Should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, ready. Fire away. What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. 
Well, which one is it then? <laughs> so this is what this is probably what the game does best. You can literally choose any character you've met in the entire game as the culprit, and you can you can guess unlimited times until you guess the right one. But there are enough clues hidden throughout the game for you to decide who Mr. Big is. And Mr. Big can be one of like four different characters, I believe. So. <laughs> While we could accuse any number of these characters, there's one in particular who Mr. Big is, and that is Gil Barker. Mr. Barker, you've been in some financial trouble lately, haven't you? What makes you say that? Luther and I overheard you talking to a loan shark about it. Ah, loan shark. Aha! We also read your IOU. Even though you tried to tell us it was a poem, you rustled the hogfish to pay off your debts, didn't you? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. <laughs> what was it that first tipped you off? It was the gum. You had an awfully small supply for a gum salesman. And I got to wondering what had happened to the rest of it. The hogfish were still chewing it when we got here. Yeah, Super Rubber Bubble lasts a long time. It's a fabulous product, which is why I borrowed money to invest in it. But the sales weren't so good, and I was going to have to declare bankruptcy. I figured even if I couldn't sell the hogfish, I could at least get into hogfish ranching, which, as you know, is a much more respectable profession than sales. Well, <laughs> that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Thanks, You're buddy. right. We're sorry. <laughs> we didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out of my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <coughs> It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. Show you how to tie a lasso. And thus, the, the people who stole the wrestlers the were completely forgiven of everything while well, they have community the service. And, and the yeah, they, they were forgiven. Considering what Freddy Fish Free gave the villains, where it's like, <laughs> in Freddy Fish Free, it's like, Gil Barker was sentenced to work 4,976 hours working in the library, and then it's just like, I oh, used to do some community service, like uh, being a hogfish rancher, which he wanted to do anyway. Same with Maury and Toby. So, I mean, they, they kind of got off scot free almost. Not exactly scot free, but like, you know. <laughs> Always forgiven very easily in this, which is kind of funny. But that's Freddy Fish 4. One of the two major paths, anyways. So, man, it looks like Gil Barker just does not learn his lesson. Freddy Fish Free, it's like, I'll steal the great cock shell so I can make more money. It's like, in this, I'm st still gonna steal stuff. It's like, really, dude? <laughs> After working all of that time in the library, you still did it again? <laughs> You know what? Some people just don't learn from their mistakes, so I wouldn't be surprised if in Freddy Fish 5, Gil Barker also was the one responsible for everything. But he won't be. He's actually not in Freddy Fish 5. But yeah, that's Freddy Fish 4. It's a very fun game. I would say it's the strongest of the Freddy Fish games, unless you're counting Maze Madness, but that's just a completely different ballgame. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. <laughs> so Marty will be joining me for Path 2, which is going to take... Probably twice as long as this path. Because this path, I basically I knew what to do, and I just, you know, 
went and did basically everything and did very little side stuff. Marty and I are probably going to mess around a whole lot, and we're probably going to accuse absolutely everyone of the crime. And yeah, so that's probably going to be a good deal longer. So there's still plenty of content to be had, and it's probably going to be funnier than when I'm doing it by myself, because I tend to be funnier when I have someone I can play off of. Anyhow, I hope you guys tune in for the second path. It's going to be really fun. You're going to see the rest of the game. It's going to be awesome. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.